Hello again and welcome back to March Payne's Midlife Dolly Crisis. And as summer appears to have, well, suddenly actually come back here in Ireland because it's not been, not been great so far, but it seems to be quite nice now. Before it goes again, I thought it's probably a good time to actually unbox this, which I've been sitting on for two years. This is a Barbie Loves the Ocean playset, and it's basically kind of like the sun lounger with the umbrella and stuff like that. So this is a picture of what it is. Um, if we have a look on the side, you can see the stuff that you get in the box there. And then on the back, it's basically got, that's the playset. These are the dolls that you could get with it. And um, this is another of the play sets, which is kind of like a volleyball sort of play set thing. And then on the side here, we've got the, the Barbie Loves the Ocean logo. So Barbie Loves the Ocean came out in 2021 originally. There was, of course, this play set, all the stuff you see here, including these dolls. I think there was a fourth doll, but that was, its, I think, exclusive with one of the other play sets. And the other place that you can get with this was the, the sort of like the beach bar, which I did unbox at the time. I will put a link to that video down in the description box below. That I was really pleased with. I was really happy I got it. It was a good price as well when, when, when I did get it. And it fits the dolls very well. I've used it various times, kind of with, uh, with photographing the dolls in it. This I got after. I got that and I, I didn't I didn't unbox it so that's what we're going to do today so obviously the gimmick well not really the gimmick sorry it's quite it's quite rattly the big selling point of this uh, Barbie Loves Ocean line is the fact that essentially everything in it or the vast majority of the items are made from recycled plastic and also the packaging as well is basically just cardboard so this can be go straight into the recycling, basically. After that kind of launch, it sort of faded away. I don't know if it just maybe wasn't successful or they wanted to go in a different way with it, but you, you do still get actual fashion packs, which are Barbie Loves the Ocean, and they are also made from re recycled plastic. Also, I think they had a few dolls out this year as well, which were Barbie Loves the Ocean. Let's open this up. So this should be, I'm guessing reasonably easy to open and presumably there's not going to be any of those annoying tags in anything so I won't have anything to complain about will I which is really good so yeah that is that is everything there so as I mentioned there's no sort of plastic or packaging in any of this it's basically just as it is okay so I've emptied the box so this is basically all the kind of stuff you get in it I'm also going to grab a doll so that we can see how the stuff looks with with the Barbie okay so let's make some of this stuff up and have a look and see what we get with it so we get an umbrella so this is fabric but this is possibly made again from recycled plastic because it's, it's that kind of that kind of material but it's quite cute there's lots of colors on there it's got um the sunset and it's got malibu written on there i don't really know why i guess malibu and barbie are very sort of synonymous with each other in a way aren't they so that bit clips in there i'm guessing this bit will clip there so that is that is that there we go so then we get this kind of sun lounger or deck chair or whatever Oh, there we go. Okay. So there we go. That is that. I do have a Barbie here, which we're going to put in. There she is. She seems a bit big for this, to be honest. Um, it's not the most comfortable looking, perhaps. Can she sit up in it a little bit? It might look okay on camera. It's actually, it's, it's not too bad. I guess, you know, it's, it's not meant to be in scale, perhaps. So then we get lots of other little bits as well. So we get we get this, which I'm presuming is meant to be a towel. So again, it's it's a fabric piece. It's got Malibu written printed all over it, and it's bright yellow, which is kind of quite summery. So that's nice. So that can maybe go on the chair, or over the thing, or maybe put it at the end there. There we go. So that is that. So we've then got so lots of little kind of plasticky accessories. So we have got a a drink or a cocktail of some description there. And 
with the chair it's got these sort of like hole things where you can sort of put stuff in um, and these items have also got sort of the little sort of weird nodule thing I don't really know how to describe it so you can put it on on the doll's fingers like that so she can enjoy that I mean she can't drink of, from it obviously because she has no articulation at all but she can she can at least hold it and and look look like she might be drinking it so yeah let's put her in there like that there we go I've moved it around slightly so there we go we can see all the bits um, and then we have got whoops some stuff's under here so we also have a pair of sunglasses there so they're just kind of purple they're not like see-through or anything we'll put that on the doll they fit okay they're not like my favorite um we've then got this which is a a bucket for making sandcastles and things again it doesn't seem that big to be honest um maybe it would be better with one of the Chelsea dolls but for, for a Barbie it seems quite small she's not really going to be making many big sandcastles with that we've also got this very useful tube thing of suntan lotion which you can't even hold because it's not got one of those sort of nodule things on the side unfortunately so that can maybe go into the bucket put that in there so we then got this, which is a starfish. And I don't really know why it's got this thing on the top here. Is it meant to, not meant to attach to anything, is it? I don't, I don't really, I don't really see where it could go. Anyway, maybe, maybe again, it's for like making sand castle things in. You can put sand in it and mold it or something. I don't know, it's a bit strange. Uh, we've also got, um, she's got uh, a mobile phone with her there, a smartphone, so she can hold that, hopefully. Yep, there you go. So she's on a, on a phone. Well, she's kind of a bit far away from the phone. She can't really see it. Um, well, she could definitely not see anything with those sunglasses on because they're not see-through. But yeah, so she's got a phone, she's got a cocktail, she's got sunglasses on. And then we have this, which is like, the world's biggest sort of spade. I, I don't understand why why we have this, this giant spade, and then this tiny bucket, which, you know, it's kind of not quite in proportion there because the bucket fits into the spade. But yeah, so, so that is that. So I am kind of happy with this. It's nice to have this sort of accessory here, which would go nicely with the um, the beach bar and also the umbrella thing. A lot of the other stuff is is okay, but it's not it's not mind blowing. The set itself is actually cheap enough, so I guess I shouldn't really grumble. But yeah, so let me know what you think of this down in the comments below. Let me know if you've got it. It's certainly a nice kind of accessory, I think, for for kids because obviously, apparently, that's that's who these things are aimed at, rather than adults. But um, the proportion wise, it's a little bit weird weird to me. But yeah, so let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Let me know if you've got it. Please like the video if you've enjoyed it. And please subscribe if you haven't already. So until the next time, have, have an amazing week. I hope the sun is shining where you are. Bye.